what's up curl friends happy new year i don't think i said that in any of my previous videos but happy new year you guys today we're going to be discussing my top seven hair goals of 2021 so if you're interested in my goals this year just stay all tuned. right you guys so like i said we're going to be talking about my top seven hair goals of this year and i do have one like bonus goal i guess you could say like a honorable mention goal we'll talk about that at the end before we get started if you've never seen my face before you're new to the channel welcome my name's elena like i said and i do natural hair product reviews and i'm also um on a hair journey to have healthier uh healthier hair so i'm a high porosity girl and if you have high porosity problems like i do <laughs> Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can kind of share in this journey together, give each other tips and tricks, and just share product reviews and things like that. So come on and join the fam, hit the subscribe button, and also the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right, let's get okay, started. Okay, so let's start off with number seven, I guess. <laughs> we'll start from the bottom and work our way up to number one. So number seven is I want to incorporate more oils into my regimen. Okay, um, like sunflower oil, avocado oil, castor oil. Now, while I already do incorporate oils into my regimen, I need to be using them a little bit more. I need to be doing um, like hot oil treatments and just like adding them to my deep conditioners or something like that. So one of my goals is to definitely incorporate more oils into my whole regimen, even like sealing and all that stuff too. So number seven. So the next thing I want to focus on, number six, is moisture, okay? I need a lot of moisture in my hair, okay? You high porosity girls out there know what I'm talking about. Um, by sometimes, with depending on the product, okay, I can get from maybe, let's say, two, anywhere from two to maybe five days max of moisture retention in my hair using certain products. Obviously, some last longer than others. Some products are maybe higher quality or they just work better in my hair. The moisture level is just that good that sometimes it may last five days. But then sometimes I have products where the next day even or two days after, I'm like, where's the moisture? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to start um, watching my hair a little closer and recognizing when the exact time is that I need to start re-moisturizing my hair especially when it's in a puff like this um, because I really just tend to like just take the little the band out at night and put a bonnet on and then in the morning I'll just kind of refresh with water or a refresher spray and that's it so that's not really getting me where I want to be so I need to just step it up a little bit number five more scalp massages this is something I tried to incorporate um, like the last, the latter part of 2020 and I was doing really good. I was doing really good with it. So I just want to, you know, just make sure that I continue to do that every wash day. And then also on the in-between days when I, when I'm re-moisturizing. Um, yeah, when I'm re-moisturizing, just want to focus more on scalp massages because the goal is always like uh, Charade, Charade de Soul says, what's the goal? booty crack hair length so yeah we always want to get there right but anyway scalp massages will definitely help with that so we're going to do more of those um number five would be to thicken my hair i want to work on the thickness of my hair so you know i always complain about like my shedding and stuff like that and we're going to work on that too um but that all comes into play with moisturizing length retention and all of that and just making sure I um, deep condition, which I always do. I never, I never miss a, miss a deep condition. <laughs> so I'm good in that department, but I really want to focus on, um, yeah, just thickening up my hair. Because I do have, I mean, I don't think the texture is going to change, but I think I can maybe change the density. I don't know. We'll see. All right, number four, I definitely want to do more protective styles. Um, you know, what most, most of my wash days, I'll either do a twist out or I will do, um, a wash and go like in the summertime, spring and summertime, I tend to switch off to wash and goes. 
And then in the colder months, I will do twist outs, braid outs, things like that. But re rarely do I protective style. You may see me some, and that's not even every year. Once a year, like last year, I did the, the twist with um, added hair, with the canicolon hair, the fake hair. But I don't do that often. And so even if I'm not using fake hair, I wanna be able to tuck my ends and keep my hair you know, protected in the protective style. So I definitely just wanna do more of those this year. So we're gonna work on that. If you guys know of any YouTubers like that do um, protective styles with their own hair, not necessarily with extensions, because like I said, I don't really do extensions like that, but just with their own hair, leave it in the comment section down below so I can go check them out. Or if you do them, let me know where your channel is down below so I can come check you out because I need some some different styles. <laughs> All right, number, I think we're on number three. Wait a minute here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I, I don't know. I messed up the number somewhere, but um, this is actually number two. Sorry, I messed up the numbers, guys. Um, number two is definitely to use up my stash. I told y'all before, I have no business buying anything. Nothing, no business. But these new products keep coming out, y'all. Just the product junkie in me just can't help it. So I really, really need to use up my stash though before I start opening new products or at least maybe not opening up everything right away and using some of what I have from the previous years before I start diving into new things. So we're gonna try to do some videos where we're using old products, maybe incorporating them with the new. I don't know, but y'all gotta help me on that one. I need to be using up my stash. All right, and number one is hot oil treatments. I must, 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 must. <laughs> I must do hot oil treatments. There is no if ands, or buts about it. Me being high porosity, I need hot oil treatments in my life and I just don't do them. Um, I usually, I've done, I do, I've done them in the past, but I've only done them like maybe twice a year. I need to be doing them like every wash day, basically, like a pre-poo hot oil treatment or whether I'm just adding them to my deep conditioners and maybe having that be my hot oil treatment slash deep conditioning session. I need more hot oil treatments in my life. And so I'm definitely going to be focusing on that this year very, very heavily um, to kind of try to save this high porosity hair. Y'all know I color my hair. I'm about due for another color. But um, yeah, I really need to focus on hot oil treatments, y'all. So Basically, I need a whole new regimen anyway for, you know, to take care of this hair because I've known, I'm, I've, been, I've known that I'm high porosity for quite a while, but a lot of YouTubers are like low porosity. And so I think I've gotten caught in, I got caught up into the whole YouTube following along thing where I'm just following other girls' regimens and I need to create my own, really. Um, I know the steps that I do are healthy steps, you know, and following these girls, but I really need to take the time and do what I need to do for my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, probably the next video you see is going to be me building my new hair regimen. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the next video, um, cause I'm definitely gonna be putting together a new regimen for my All right, hair. and then my uh, honorable mention goal this year is to try, oh my gosh, y'all. And I know y'all are with me on this to try to have more no buys this year, okay? I'm putting myself on a no buy as of January 9th, okay? There's a couple more things I wanna get, that's why it's the 9th, which for me is in two days. <laughs> so if I don't get what I need or what I wanna get within the next two days, I'm not gonna buy anything else at least for another month hair related nothing else okay i have a couple of haul videos to show y'all so stay tuned for those products are coming in from my end of the year sale you know buys since i missed out on black friday um and those are coming in so stay tuned if you want to see those videos but 
yeah i kind of like i didn't go ham but it was like really unexpected for me to get those those products so the the hauls that you're gonna see coming up i had no business i had no business but i shouldn't have to buy anything for a hot minute so the no buy is on in two days i'll post it on social media y'all try to keep me accountable okay yeah get on me if i come on here talking about I bought something else and it wasn't from the end of the year sale okay get on me or if it was after the ninth okay get on me all right <laughs> well that's it you guys those are my uh 2021 goals for my hair this year let me know in the comments down below if y'all have made any goals for yourselves have you ever even considered making hair goals like this is my actually my first year doing this I never even thought to like have a hair goal before. I mean, I've had them, but never really like put them down on paper and then try to see what I do in a year. You know what I'm saying? Everyone always has a goal, but sometimes you don't write them down. When you don't write them down, they're wishes. So make sure you write your goals down so they can actually be goals. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, and like I said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you here. Um, I like to have fun over here. So yeah, come on and join the family, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And y'all hit a like button, hit the like button on your way out for me. It really helps me out with my channel and it helps new girlfriends find me. All right. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.